case for Ezekiel Elliott and the Cowboys, who are still going back and forth with the hopes that they'll get something done before their first game on Sunday against the Giants in Dallas, where Jane Slater joins us now. There is still time to get a deal done with Ezekiel Elliott that would end this holdout and put him back on the football field in time for Sunday's season opener against the Giants. But in the absence of that, they are moving forward with what they currently have on their roster, namely their veteran Alfred Morris, as well as their rookie running back Tony Pollard. Now, it was offensive lineman Zach Martin, who returned to practice today after battling some back injuries, who said that Morris is one of the best guys they've got for that wide zone scheme. And as for Pollard, head coach Jason Garrett said this is a guy they feel good about, both as a receiver, a runner, and a protector. He says nothing's felt too big for him. In fact, he's gotten a lot of work with the ones, and they've been aggressive in their approach with them. So that is all good news. So is the fact that Aside from Martin returning to practice, we also saw the return of Tyron Smith to the offensive line and wide receiver Amari Cooper. For more on this Cowboys-Giants matchup, we go to Kim Jones. Well, Jane, when you talk about the New York Giants' best running back, the only question is this. What does Saquon Barkley do for an encore? A year ago, as a rookie, he led the league in yards from scrimmage, and he's counting on providing even more production this year for his team. I found it interesting when I asked Coach Pat Shermer how Barkley can improve. Shermer said, well, he dropped a few balls last season, and he did. He said that Barkley at times was loose in pass protection. He also said that early in the year last year, Barkley was bouncing outside when the yards to be gained were inside. Barkley, of course, would agree with all of those assessments. He has vowed to be a better back, knowing his team needs him this year to be at his absolute best. As far as if the Cowboys play Tony Pollard a lot on Sunday, by the way, Pat Shermer said that he was in a prominent position on the Giants draft board. In other words, the Giants have plenty of respect for the rookie out of Memphis. Kim, thank you. Jane, thank you. You talk about workhorse running backs in the National Football League. This week one matchup, Giants and Cowboys, was supposed to feature two of them. Saquon Barkley, almost 48% of the Giants' offensive touches last year. Ezekiel Elliott at 48% as well. But no Zeke right now, and, uh, you know, anything could happen in the next few days. Let's go under the assumption there is no Zeke for at least week one here. Gotcha. What does it do to the rest of the Cowboys' offense? Well, I was going to say it's going to probably open up the offense where you put more emphasis on Dak and throwing the ball. And we talk about Michael Gallup. Here's a guy who I think will have a breakout season at the number two receive, uh, p uh, receiver position outside of Amari Cooper. And then you bring all Randall Cobb. And then you got Tavon Austin. Guess what? We still have our safety blanket and Jason Witten coming back. So now you have multiple options, different formations, different things you can do. And you have a role for each one of your playmakers within that offense. Yeah, I think the onus falls on with those playmakers, Kellen Moore and Dak Prescott, because because it used to be with Zeke, you'd get single safety. You line him up in the backfield, and now guys are just going to say, all right, we've got to bring down an extra safety because of the run. Those guys are going to be singled up. That's why Amari Cooper thrived last year. Now Kellen is in an interesting spot because you don't have that guy that's just going to dictate coverage for you. Right. You have to be creative at getting these guys open. You've got to find ways to get Amari open and Michael Gallup and Randall Cobb and those guys. So there's a little bit of onus on the offensive coordinator. Don't be what they've always been, especially without Zeke, because it's not just going to be coverage dictator, hmm. line up, single safety. You're going to have to be creative and then let Tony Pollard hit his runs in there and, and still allow Dak to be part of the run game also. I was going to say that's that, when they've been their, their best. That's an important factor for that offense. Whenever mm -hmm. you got to account for Dak in the running game, whether it's the play action plays, the zone reads or whatever, he had yeah. multiple plays last year where he kept the ball on third and critical, fourth and critical, whatever the case may be. Nobody accounted for Dak in the running yep. game and it's he hurt defenses. Yeah. Uh, in Zeke's time on the roster in Dallas, they've had eight games without him. Want to guess the record? Eight games without Zeke. Four and four. Four and four. Nice. Yeah, right down the middle.